Good afternoon. Looking out there, and I realize we can start now because everybody's all here. It's great. Oh, but now we got a few stragglers over there. So in order to get them in and have them sit down in time, I'm going to tell you my life story. I'm not. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. So good afternoon. A special welcome to those participating from home. Some of the people who participate from home are actually here today. Hi, Mary. How are you? Good to see you. Today's mass intention is for Vincent Amatuli Sr., who died at the ripe old age of 104, I am told. Is that right? Vincent Amatuli? That's, that's, that's what I recall. That's me too. Friend of Vinny Malta. So that's great. That reminds me, thank you for that. Uh, let's silence our cell phones, shall we? So we can have one uninterrupted hour being with the Lord, listening to Monsignor's word, listening to the, the, the liturgy of the word, all the beautiful uh, music that we have today. Let's take just a second to do that. So there are no strangers among us. Everybody stand up and turn to the person next to you and say, welcome in the name of the Lord. Vincent Amatuli Sr. I remember uh, his son was one of the first people I really became conscious of when I came to the parish. He was so involved in building things and uh, I was so impressed with his devotion to his father. Did any of you watch any of the news yet this morning? I was delighted to see that we have a Catholic president who wanted to start his presidency with mass. Now, was he a perfect Catholic? No. Uh, I wish I was more perfect than he is. I don't know that I am. But it's, uh, everybody likes their own. And it's nice to see one of ours in that office. Now, mighty God, 
enable him to be the president we need. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess. Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Pray. Almighty, ever-living God, in whose hand lies every human heart and the rights of peoples, look with favor, we pray, on those who govern with authority over us, that throughout the whole world, the prosperity of peoples, the assurance of peace, and freedom of religion may through your gift be made secure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so not by law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord.
cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a crowd, there was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. It's a great day. An older person, which of course means someone older than me, uh, told me one time, you know, any day that we wake up is a good day. If we can put our two feet on the ground and walk somewhere, it's even better. Yeah. Uh, I, I love this story. You know, there, there are many gospels that that weren't adopted by the church. Uh, you have the Gospel of Thomas, for one. There's several. In one of them, there's a variation of this story that we heard today that I like. It's pretty much the same in that the man comes and he's got the withered hand, but it is made clear in the, the account that the man's withered hand is because of his sinfulness, specifically his use of language. And the man comes and he promises our Lord that he will no longer speak in that uncomely way. And so the Lord tells him to stretch out his hand and he does. And as soon as he stretches it out, he goes, oh, blip. And it shrinks right back up. <laughs> you believe in that? No, that is entirely manufactured on the spot. But let's look at what's here in the text because oh my gosh. On this day of inauguration, where we think about things political, huh, this is a paradigm for us. What are they jealous of? That he's getting the attention and they're not. I can't imagine that they're so petty that they didn't want the guy to get healed. But they're plenty petty enough to be very angry that Jesus is doing it simply because he isn't one of them. Uh, did, I, how could you avoid them? The, the, in the Senate runoff, was there anything else advertised on television except that election? No. Goodness gracious. Uh, it was, uh, Father Bernie and I would count how many ads there were. <laughs> you know, I think we got up to 10 between uh, commercial breaks on the television. But the one guy that caught my eye because of his advertising was Warnock. And what he did was splendid. He didn't, of course, none of them really talked about policy. But Warnock did something that I had heard years ago is the key to getting elected. I'm reading a book right now called White Trash. I tell everybody it's a family history. They uh, 
this author is, is looking at how class plays an interesting role throughout American history. And uh, the chapters I'm in right now focus a lot on Andrew Jackson. Uh, he was probably the, the first uh, deliberate, if you'll pardon the slur, redneck to get elected. Uh, and he very much played on the class division and seeing himself in his uh, manner as the common man. Well, they say to get elected, all you have to do is convince people that you're one of them because everybody wants to elect one of us. We don't want to elect one like those. And so every candidate who has good sense is convincing us that he's one of us, that we're like him and he's like us, or she's like us, and therefore we can feel comfortable that one of ours, and do you remember walking the dogs? Do you notice that ad? That was absolutely spot on, perfect. It said nothing about politics, but it told us, or he's ironing his clothes. Remember that? He's one of us. He's just an ordinary guy like us. I thought, oh, well done. Well done. And apparently it, it turned the trick. Who knows? So what's going on with these Pharisees? Jesus isn't one of them. I don't think Jesus was all that opposed to them until they got very opposed to him. But he's still being more patient than I'd expect. Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save a life rather than destroy it? How do you answer that question? That would make them all be angrier because he's trapped them and he's shamed them publicly. But then he says to the man, stretch out your hand. And then he does it, which is perfectly orthodox. And so he's confounded them again because nothing's worse than finding out your enemies just like you. Mm -mm. How are you going to be able to hold that much animus against him if he's really just like you? So it was intolerable. They had to go uh, plot for his death. Now, let's think about it this way for just a minute. Um, anybody here ever fight with their siblings? Mm -hmm. uh, I think in my family we've taken it to an art form. Yeah. And how different is that sibling really from you? In fact, the more they're like you, the angrier they make you. Mm. They can be petty. Well, I'm never like that. They tell stories and make stuff up. Well, I never do that. Make you furious, furious, furious. I got one more thing to say and I'm done. Uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us the stare of our fruit. Our, forgive us our trespasses as trespass against us. Yeah. I'm hoping that this will be, I'm praying that this will be a new era in presidential politics. Now, I'm hoping and praying. My expectations aren't real high, but I'm hoping and praying that we can do this thing differently. I hope we're inaugurating a new day in our personal politics, that we'll be able to forgive our siblings, forgive our children, forgive our parents, forgive our in-laws, and not be like them. At the end of the day, 
may we be more like Jesus and less like the Pharisees. That you'll hear and answer the prayers we offer in Christ's name. the Holy Father, Pope Francis. May Christ continue to guide his leadership of the church throughout the whole world. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who serve the law. May God's guidance inspire in them a renewed commitment to the value of human life. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who struggle with disabilities, may God's strength accompany them in their hardships, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here and those gathered virtually, may the Lord strengthen and sustain our faith in all that we do, we pray. Lord, hear our For all our faithful departed, especially Vincent Amatuli Sr., for whom this Mass is offered, may all those who have gone before us soon find peace and joy in God's presence, we pray. Lord, Almighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let your glory come and let your glory fall. Our Father who art in heaven, the rocks cry out your fame. Come and let your glory come and let your glory fall. I will sing and sing a new song. I will sing and sing a new song. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Every heart proclaim the mercy of your name on earth as it is in heaven. God, give us new every morning. Mercy is daily bread. Jesus, in the name of Jesus we pray, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us with your hand. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus we pray, I will sing, sing a new song, I will sing, sing a new song, I will sing. To the Lord. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Every heart proclaim the mercy of your name on earth as it is in heaven. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all of his own. Amen. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name. holy and to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we're gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you've seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. 
there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Thomas Aquinas, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and form by divine teaching we dare to say our Father Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the words, my soul shall be My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. With your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Amen. Be to God.